I, mean, I grew up in the Bay Area, and I, it's not as diverse as it was now, but it wasn't, I, didn't, I never felt, of, mm -hmm. I felt, of course, embarrassed when I brought dumplings to school and mm -hmm. the kids would make fun of the smell, or if my parents, you know, their car smells like Chinese food because they have a Chinese restaurant, mm -hmm. of course, there's all those things, but like, in a way, I was like, oh, I'm not like the foreign kids. I'm not like that guy. I'm not like the guy that's on TV, so I'm cool. I'm normal, mm -hmm. whatever that was. I don't think it was till much later where I, real, where I realized, oh no, uh, this is all. Yeah, right. These are my friends, these are my family, mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. um, I could, I, I don't know if it was a mad, I mean, I was just young and, and but it's, it's interesting because I think a lot of people have that. What I've realized, especially through this experience of like, um, you're sort of, um, I don't know, finding your confidence about mm -hmm. who you are and mm -hmm. we are automatically attached to how we look because mm -hmm. that's how we are judged or, um, and, and so, I don't know, it was very, it was very interesting and, and a complicated journey to come back around, which is why I love this idea mm -hmm. that um, Rachel Chu, an Asian American, mm -hmm. would represent American values going into mm -hmm. uh, Singapore mm -hmm. um, and that anyone of any ethnicity who was American could understand those values and she was the one who, that right. was a reflection of you no matter what you look like, where you come from, mm -hmm. um, if, that she, she represented those things and I think that um, you had to be, you were on her side because that's your thing. Right. And, um, and it's, it, uh, you know, it's an interesting thing, it's dif very difficult, you know, I think growing up Asian in America, you often think you're looking at yourself in a mirror, but you're really looking through white America's eyeballs at yourself. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and it can trick you. Mm -hmm. And it can trick your, because, because again, you think you're looking in a mirror and seeing yourself honestly, but you're not. And sometimes it can take a lifetime, I think, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, to figure that out, mm -hmm. to, to, not re to, to realize that you're not actually looking at yourself, that mm -hmm. you're looking through someone else's eyes at yourself. And so we have to kind of shake that out. Mm -hmm. We talked a lot about when we were developing it is um, uh, your inf uh, inferiority, uh, uh, your what, superiority through through your inferiority, mm, I guess is the, mm. um, that that you are because you feel inferior, you have to go the exact opposite way, mm -hmm. and um, and those are complicated things to untangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can't imagine the weight of that at such a young age to know that that's happening at that mm. age. I think that would be. I think if I knew at that. At, at a younger, I don't know how would I, I think I would have gotten angry. I think I would have right, like right. been much, I would have been a different person actually. So that's interesting.